This is your favorite B-Boy show Servus, grüezi und grüezi. Welcome, not to the best. No, your favorite podcast with your favorite B-Boy host. And my guest, yes, legendary B-Boy all the way from California, representing Rock Force Crew and Monster Energy. Make some noise for B-Boy Kareem. What's up, bro? <laughs> 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 Hello, Kareem. Hello, Man, it's oh, man. such an honor to have you on our podcast. Welcome. No, oh, thank you for having me, man. Appreciate it. Yes, for sure, for real. Really appreciate it. I, 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 my goal is to have a podcast with all my, all my superhero B boys. I started uh, watching when I was young, because I started in two thousand, and uh, in a time where you couldn't go online and find every video, and every clip yeah. of every. You had you were grateful for having a VHS and watching it like 20 times in a day. Fast forward, yeah. backwards, fast forward. Uh, it was it was a nice time. So this is a must because uh th this guy we watched you when I was starting, we watched Rock Force Crew was like our favorite USA crew. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. I'm, I'm happy yes. to hear that, dude. Yes, reveal wait, wait, how old are you? Wait. How old are you? I'm 36. Uh, 35. We're the 35. same age. Oh, 35. I have one year older than you. You're <laughs> the same age? So <laughs> I'm 36. So, so wait a minute. In in uh, Battle of the People Master 2000, you was 14 years old? Yeah. And that was your favorite people <laughs> show with your favorite people. <laughs> <laughs> What? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1986, really? yeah. Then look at yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Hip-hop is killing me. Because, man, <laughs> first of all, first of all, bro, you, you looked way older. You looked way older. Yeah, 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 I did. I was I was bigger. I was bigger at the time. Yeah. I, I think that that was it. And also, also, of course, the moves, the moves you did was uh, amazing. So, um It was a cheat code, though, you know. Like it was, I was, I was not cheating, but like the dancers I was around are really good. You know what I mean? Like you have Gerald, you have you yeah. know Maya, you know, you have a uh, Vietnam, um, Jeff. Uh, mm -hmm. So you kind of Iron Monkey, so like, reveal. Mm -hmm. So you kind of like you kind of have a cheat code because they're they have this. That's the standard, you know. Mm -hmm. And so growing up, all I had to do was just get as good as them and. Which seemed so, easy at the time because that's the standard, you know what I mean? So But you actually you, hard. <laughs> so you started dancing with Rock Force Crew. Was this your first uh, introduction? Was this your first introduction into breaking? Was it seeing Rock Force Crew? No. Um, so I started with a crew called Devious Crew from Sacramento, um, okay. and but that was only like not even it was a short time. And then uh, I got into Rock Force Crew, and that was like majority of my career is Rock Force and only uh, Rock okay. Force. Yeah, so when, yeah. How old were you when you started? That was 1998. 1998? November. And when did you get to the Rockforce crew? Uh, like late 99, 2000, uh, early 2000s. Okay. Yeah, it happened okay. super fast. Okay, how did it come to, uh, how did it, uh, how, how did you get to know them? Um, Crazy story. Obviously, everybody knew Rockforce at the time, right? Like, because they were in all the battles, but um. I wasn't actually planning on getting into Rock Force. My idea wasn't, I wasn't going to get into Rock Force. But um, Gerald, B-Boy Gerald, in 90, 98, late 90, no, early 99, he got shot. Um, and then, you know, he were from the same city, me, Gerald. Um, so everybody went to go pay respects to Gerald in the hospital. And me being like 13, 14, I went to go pay respects to him. And um, we just so happened. I don't even know how it really happened, but I kind of we kind of look alike. So the family kind of gravitated gravitated toward me because I was super young, um, and I kind of looked like Gerald, you know. And so I pay my respects to Gerald. Then Gerald got out the hospital. Um, mind you, the doctors told him he wasn't gonna be able to walk. Um, mm -hmm. And then he got out the hospital, was able to walk, and then he started training, breaking again. And he called me to practice. And so when he called me to practice, 
we were been practicing for a few months together and then he init- he kind of initiated the recruitment for me to get in rock force so it was all gerald really gerald and Paulski. crazy 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 yeah, and yeah. uh crazy story when 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 people see you dancing you have more of a power style you know you you're doing a lot of power moves you're doing a lot of freezes yeah of course, over the years, you evolved also your footwork and you're now more co- complete dancer. So yeah. you started, to, uh, of course, you started with power moves. Was this because it was easier for you to learn or did you start with footwork and top rocks or am I completely saying No, wrong no, no. Um, so for us and, and it's where I'm from in Sacramento, we actually, we call it like style power. So of course, you know, air flare, 90 elbow air flare, flare 90 flare, like we could do that stuff, but that wasn't like my specialty, my RM. Um, we all everything goes from Gerald really because we call Gerald's like you know our king in that in that city. So he has a style which we call style power, which is power moves but with, with flavor. So you're pretty much creating your own power moves. You know what I mean? Um, so I would say my style was pr- predominantly all that, just the mm-hmm. style power, not not basic power. Like that's why I, you know coming up with like hopping elbow air flares. Like that wasn't a move you. Cre- that wasn't a move that came. It was a, it wasn't a normal move. It's nobody generally my it. move. No, no it's my move. Did. I created the move. Oh, yeah, like nice. I created the move. So hopping so, elbow um, this is your move. It's my move, yeah. Um, and so um, that's what Gerald kind of built in us was creating power moves. You know what I mean? And so, um, yeah, I mean, I could do a little bit of footwork, but I didn't learn footwork until I got into rock force, like traditional, mm-hmm. like. To get into rock force, it took about six months of training, and it wasn't yes. like power training. It was all like fundamental training. So I had to learn about the Bronx style to the Brooklyn, the way Brooklyn does their style to the European flow to mm-hmm. uh, enemy squad to elementary force to you know like Korean Barouche and uh, actual force. I had to learn all their kind of style. So I was young at the time. I learned I learned the moves, the movements, but I didn't I didn't practice it because I wanted to do style power which what we call you know so i learned it uh just to get into rock force because i had no choice rock paul nice. he wouldn't let me in the rock force without learning like the, the foundation of breaking you know and the foundation of power moves because i had to learn about uh, uh demon smurf to um ibrahim to uh to tough kid to basil city rockers you know what i mean like so we had to learn about all those people yeah, I mean, back in the days, it was uh, it it uh, it was much more important to know about uh, the the history, about the knowledge. People yeah. was also more interested. Nowadays, you have everything at your hand. People are spoiled. They, when I talk with young guns about specific battles, they don't know it. They don't care about it. You know, yeah. and uh, yeah, I think this is so important because to know the rules. I think it's and really so important. Respected. Sorry. You have to know, you have to know, like Switzerland, for example, like you can't go to Switzerland without knowing who scrambling feet are. Like yes, that's one of the, you know, like you can't walk in, you can't go to Switzerland and not scram- know scrambling feet or, you know, tough kid or, you know, the, the was it, was it Basel city or Basel city? It's in, in uh, German, you say Basel. Basel, Basel. city. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I remember growing <laughs> up watching them and I know they had, they had the really good power movers and, you know, Switzerland had some really, really good power movers, dude. But when uh, I started, Rough X, Rough X was Switzerland was like, yes, Rafinex, Deep Trip. Yeah. Yep, Deep Trip, exactly. Like, you have to know these people. Also, Ghost you Rocks was, was also big in Europe, but there was not so much overseas. Yeah. In Europe, Ghost Rocks also made a lot of noise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah Switzerland yeah, yeah. has a, a lot of uh, history. Yeah, is Deep, it, is deep Trip was say, crazy. Is it fair to say Elbow Flair is your favorite move? No, no. No? no, or well, what? No, what no, what's no. the favorite problem? <laughs> well, the, the the thing the thing what the thing with elbow air is that like people don't well, it, it was so I got injured um right as soon as I got in the rock force I got injured really really bad and so I couldn't uh it was my right wrist so I tore some ligaments in my my wrist mm-hmm. so um I wasn't able to use my wrist for a year and a half. Oh, so no. the 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 video you saw of me in Korea, uh, the Korea one, the reason why I'm doing so many elbow air flares is because I couldn't use my wrist. And when you see me, I do use my wrist. It's really, really fast because it hurts, you know? So I had a year and a half of having an injury like that. That's why you see me do a lot of elbow air flares at the time. 
And then obviously me practicing still um, elbow air flips, I can do it so I can train it for a year and a half only. So I got really good at it, but it's not, I don't really care about the move really, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, nice that you brought it up because I want to talk about this specific battle because this was one in for us one of it was the first time I saw um I saw reveal and Iron Monkey and you. This was the first time I, I yeah. saw I saw freestyle session. Uh I always forget it. The one on the stage where Moy does uh, the F less in the in the first battle. F-less. So was freestyle it, session five. Was it five, freestyle session yeah. five? And this was what year? Was it 2000 also? That was early. No, that had to be like late 99. I think freestyle session always is yeah. in November or December, I think. Yes. And I, I, I know I saw the Battle of b Master first and then I saw freestyle session, you know? But this yeah, was the so first Iron Monkey and Reveal were the ones. Bro, I saw there what is real B-Boy flavor. Man, Reveal... Yeah, such finesse. It, it's not hard, man. He did the, yeah. the, the 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 flip, roll up, what and one hand yeah. up. You're like, what? How how is this possible? Yeah. From the turtle freeze, he go up to the two thousand and stuff. I remember he was buff. No sense. Mr. Olympia, man, crazy. <laughs> and then and then you was there, and bro, we never when we saw power moves, okay, but we never saw elbow flash like this. You know, and you already did that. The yeah. You mean, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Iron Monkey um, reveal, like, I, I, for my for, for my majority of my career, Iron Monkey is, like, my main influence. Like, 100%, even the antics I do today, like, that comes from Iron Monkey because I spent my most majority of my time with Iron Monkey. Um, so I can I contribute a lot to him um, as a dancer. Um, and reveal, too. Reveal was a different one because... I, I to this day I think reveals like the for me one of the greatest dancers of all times. Like the way he does his stuff is like it's almost effortless though, you know? It like because so reveals smooth. super lazy. He's so yeah, so but he's lazy. Nice to watch. <laughs> he he's so lazy that it's crazy that how good he is. It doesn't make any sense. But like at the time he was training a lot and I was just really fortunate to really be around some of the greatest dancers, my idols, you know. So um we the Korea battle was It was like, it was cool. I, rem- I actually remember a lot about that event. I remember oh, nice. meeting Physics. I remember meeting uh, The End. I remember meeting Hong. We battled Hong Tin and uh, Ducky and uh, Mute. Yeah, I remember battling them. I remember uh, seeing Born there. And these people where you don't even know who they are. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know those people. Um, mm. And uh, Physics, Born, The End, Darkness. Bruce Lee. I remember meeting all those fools, blonde. Everybody and I'm was a there. Kid, you know? Everybody was there. Everybody. No, everybody in Korea was there. So I don't know if you, you probably don't know, but um, you remember R16, right? Mm-hmm. So the Battle of the B-Boy Masters is R16. They just changed the name. The same promoters of Battle of the B-Boy Masters and R16 is mm-hmm. the same people. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how? Did it? How did they choose you to go with them? Because you were many B boys in the Rock Force crew back then. Yeah, I think um, honestly, I think they made a mistake. I don't think they should have. I don't think they should have chosen me, um, because you know you had Vietnam, you had you know Jeff. Um, I just battled into Rock Force crew that year, and um, I was the youngest one, and I was injured. You know, so they really mm-hmm. should have never chose me. But at the time, I wasn't injured. I didn't get injured. I got when they asked me to do it, I wasn't injured. But mm-hmm. in the process, like a month before the trip, I got injured. Um, but they, um, they, no, they, they, they definitely, I think it was a test, but they never should have mm-hmm. chose me because they did have better breakers to choose from. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they made a mistake. <laughs> and, and at the end of it, I think they realized they made a mistake because we lost because of me. So, <laughs> man, man, <laughs> this, this VHS, this whole battle, there is so many things happened there that, that I still remember and influenced our life when we danced in Vienna and stuff. For example, Ari Monkey in the first battle, after his first round, he finished. I know the MCs, what everything he said, Ari Monkey, Monkey, I know everything. And after his round, he's standing like this. And my friend says, look what he's, what he's doing now. And he's standing like this and he waits on the beat because after a while, there is something like a snare. 
and he finished the round and do, and then the snare comes and he's like, bam, you know, and then it says to me, this is beat beat catching. You know, he listened to the music yeah, yeah, and yeah. he and react to the music. <laughs> or for example, uh when you battled the ducky, you did the, the head spin exchange. Yeah, right? yeah. So um you do an uprock there. You don't even remember what uprock you did there. You did an uprock like <laughs> no. you did like this, you did like this, and then you did like this, and then something like this. Bro, we did this in practice. We did this in practice. You know, like to show, stop. hey, Come on, bro, stop. I swear to God, but this is <laughs> or when you when you did your head spin round against Ducky, uh, there was a specific beat, and I never learned to do a good head spin. But as uh, a while, because we ripped the music off the tapes to practice to it, you know. Oh wow! And then, yeah, bro, yeah. when I practice head spin, I put exactly the beat when you did head spin <laughs> to get the feeling from. <laughs> 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 that feeling you definitely don't want that feeling that feeling was terrible was bro terrible, no i just it, it is it is crazy how much uh how much this uh, vhs was for us so battle wise you you remember um was there a specific round you thought like okay this is gonna be hard or uh did, did, did you surprise oh, the first yourself round was the, hardest battle. the first round the hard the hard because the thing is back then you know um you don't go to Korea for three days. You, you know, you go for like four or five days to a yeah. week. You know what I mean? So we were there. I already, I already, I already practiced with Hong Ten, Ducky, and Mute. So, and Expressions Crew in general. So I already knew that they were going to be good, you know? Ah, nice, um, nice, nice, And nice. obviously, the, I, I'm so young. I don't I don't know nothing, you know? Um, and so first round, they say we have Expressions Crew. So I already knew what they were doing. Hong Ten versus Reveal, right? That's what they want. Mm -hmm. Ducky versus Iron Monkey and me versus Mute. Mm -hmm. But the thing that was different was that we couldn't do me versus Mute because my wrist was hurt. Oh, so yeah, we were yeah, trying yeah. to do me, Iron Monkey versus Mute. Mm -hmm. Right? And then Reveal versus Hong Ten. Mm -hmm. No disrespect to Hong Ten, but Hong Ten compared to Reveal at that time, it's, you know, Reveal wins. You know no, I mean? no, he He's, was he was not there yet. Not, no, no, he was yeah, not yeah, there yeah. yet. I mean, Reveal is just, you know, if you the thing the funny thing is if you go back and look at Hong Ten the way he breaks, he break totally different after that event. If you just go back and watch him, you'll see you're like, oh okay. Mm -hmm. And even um, there's a move that I that I did in the battle, and that uh, physics took okay. like, years later, and it's ah. not even like people don't even talk about it. But yeah. he was there watching, you know what I mean? So it's just funny. Ah, nice, nice. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. And of course, you were just 14 and uh, you couldn't even, uh, I mean, um, so your, your parents trusted Reveal and Iron Monkey that they take take care of you. Well, Cross is there too, right? And Cross ah, at the nice. time. Um, yeah, so Cross, Iron Monkey, and Reveal were, were responsible for me at the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But my mom didn't realize that they, they, they can't even, they're not even responsible for themselves. So, mm -hmm. I mean, Cross <laughs> is, but Iron Monkey Reveal is like, you might as well give me to another 14 year old. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but after, so, after yeah. this, after this battle, you got a, a lot of recognition and respect from your, from the, from your peers in the USA? Um, I don't think so. No. Um, because we lost, right? We got second place. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then it was a good battle. Obviously, you battling Eric Orb and I forgot the third person, but um, uh, it was Po One. Eric Orb and Po One, yeah. I mean, those guys are one. They're like hella older than me. I was literally. I don't think people. I didn't realize it at the time, but like little kids didn't travel the world. Like yes, yes, at yes. the time, you know. So yeah. I was like one of the first little kids to travel the world. I didn't mm -hmm. know that at the time, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I now I look back and I'm like battling Orb and. Eric and Poe, that's like, of course I'm gonna lose, you know, mm -hmm. being injured, of course I'm gonna lose. But man, Eric um, was no, also my, my Eric was crazy. Also so bro, I I, I wish he kept dancing, man. God damn. Uh you know, Eric, he's another one that I I I'd been knowing Eric before I met anybody, but Eric oh, um, okay. he was even he was even better at practice. Eric was crazy, dude. Eric was crazy, but you know, life happens, right? And like like how I try to tell my students now, like, you know, like, you know, appreciate dancing, but, you know, life's going to hit you something mm. real fast. So, mm. you know, do as much as you can right now before yeah. life hits you. You, know? you can plan your life and uh, life will laugh at you. 
We would laugh at you. Yeah, plans. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. yeah, so Eric Eric's still dancing now. He's just um I think he just got a regular job. He had a son and mm-hmm, he mm-hmm. stopped mm-hmm. in the community. Like I seen him I seen him maybe like two years ago at Free Succession mm-hmm. two thousand the one we won, I think two thousand and two thousand two, I think I seen him there. Mm-hmm. The last year Rock Force won it was two thousand two, I think. Nice, nice. Nice. Yeah, he was amazing, man. Mm-hmm. Also, you had the, then the 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 rest of the world versus the Asia battle, right? That was crazy. I totally forgot about that battle. Holy snap! It's at the end of the VHS. It's at the, at the I end totally of the forgot VHS. about that. Now, everybody who didn't see this, you can find it on YouTube, but it's very bad quality. But this oh, is terrible. This is just uh, uh, legendary. Okay, from one legendary, I, I remember. Team, Yeah, yeah, please tell me. I remember tell me, tell me. one uh mm-hmm. one thing about the the pre event. I remember like but when the when the doors were closed, it was just battlers and competitors. I see extreme crew, I see rivers, I see expression, and I just see I see them blowing like throwing power, crazy power, like power combos, like 20 hit combos, you know? And then I remember seeing Blonde come out and just do Blonde for me is one of my favorite breakers ever. Ever. Um Even at that time, he was doing crazy combos, yo. Um, and I was just hoping he would lose. I'm like, I'm hoping this guy loses because I don't want to battle him. And then we end up getting uh, yeah expressions. I don't know how that happened, but thank God. I I also did a <laughs> I also did a podcast with him last year. He's a he's a, oh, man, prof- he's, a he's, he's a professional chef now, but high level. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, man, he told me back then it was all about power. It was all about power. Oh, you can, he, yeah. he told me he, he has his signature is the walking, uh, the, 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 the walking. Yeah, after, walking right? I asked him yeah. how, how he came up with this. And he said they were joking in practice. Like, what can yeah, you do it. with the air flare? And they were joking. And he, yeah. he, he did it. it. He did it way earlier than he showed it in the battles, you know, because he felt like it was just funny, but it. he didn't know that it was hella dope, you know? Yeah, yeah. They, you know, they Korea had some of the best breakers I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And the crazy part, I don't even know if people know, but what from what I heard is that one person from uh, Seattle would go to Korea and bring back the videotapes of the power movers in the West Coast. And that's how Korea got so good because there was no reason for Korea to be so good mm-hmm. at air power yes. in 2000 when we went. Yes, but they yes, already yes. were up on everything. They were yeah, already yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. So it makes sense why I think early 90s, mm-hmm. mid 90s, somebody was bringing the tapes to Korea mm-hmm. so they can watch it and they just went mm-hmm. to the next level. So they people thought they got good hella fast. Mm-hmm. That's not the case, I don't think. I think they've always been good. They were always good. The girl mm-hmm. just didn't know it, you know? Mm-hmm. I remember... Because Blonde and the end were killing it. I remember downloading the video from Vibo Mew doing 25 half left. It was like 10 minutes for a 10 second video or the 25 second video. Yeah. And he did 25 air flares. He, like, he did oh, 25. Wow. He did 30 something air flares in the train station while we waited for the train station. He did God 35 in the train. I got that. Yeah. I mean, when you're so young, I guess yeah. everybody was like a teenager back then, you know, like uh, 13. Well, me 15, and Mute 16. were the same age. Yeah, ah. Mute was 15. Mute was 15. Yeah. Yeah, crazy, right? Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For me, also for for my generation from breaking uh, from from where I come from, Korea was always our our favorite. Uh, we always we always of loved course. physics, Hong Ten. For me, rookie, uh, Bibo uh, Bibo rookie, rookie Shin, rook? he was for me. Yeah. yeah. Always Hong Ten and uh, rookie was like the, the two main guys, and I was always t- more mm-hmm. towards um towards him towards rookie. Rookie. Um, oh, I, don't... I, I like rookie and blonde. I don't yeah yeah blonde blonde this we we laughed so much we because we called him blonde guy and then we see a clip and then there is his name and it says B boy blonde guy so what <laughs> okay <laughs> his name is really blonde guy <laughs> crazy. and blue blue was crazy blue. oh blue he, he had a little bit more like uh was a little Like he was yeah. like, like faster, you know, like the, the speed. Yeah, yeah was, speed was crazy. was crazy. And I think he was more into yeah. the music back then than um, than Blonde. Oh, for sure. No, Blue was crazy, man. I mean, whole extreme crew, bro. Did this guy back, 
you know the guy with that the, the crazy yeah, back, combos, yeah. The, the They're, both, before both before sides. they were extreme crew they were called obi wan obi wan yes obi wan crew yes yeah yeah <laughs> you remember sick you remember sick of course he of was course. their he was their leader he, he, blond told me he was the 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 what i didn't yeah. know that obo he, he was the the main guy from uh, from obo wang he was he had crazy power too oh, back shit. then bro he did everything i didn't he, know that he did everything i didn't know that he did everything uh it's i crazy. could just talk with you for three hours just about korean people <laughs> 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 nice. um I, i don't know if you saw our intro i put like some of my favorite clips into the intro and uh one mm -hmm. Is a legendary scene for me. It at the uh, Mighty Four. It was it um was it a cipher battle? But it was not an official battle. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a no, it was a cipher battle. But the, yeah. the weird part about the battle was that it was actually me and Poison are not friends. We're not cool. Okay. So me and Poison just got done battling. Me and him battle each other. We don't like each other. We're not cool at all. Okay. And then Ruin, after me and him battle, then Ruin and Caveman walk up to us and be like, we want to battle. Okay. Yeah, ridiculous. ridiculous. Crazy. Because I, I know <laughs> I know Caveman and Ruin are boys because they, they in LA Breakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Thought, I thought you and boys you were boys too. Crazy. We don't like each other. Crazy. And of yeah, course, never are, we never liked each other. There, there are there are a couple of legendary moments. Uh first Ruen, the 90s, when he grabs his feet. Crazy. This is, this is this, no, this is, unbelievable. I don't know how, how many times we watched this in a row. Then uh yeah. when you finish your your uh your your uh, power combo with the slow with the uh, slow balance freeze like crazy. <laughs> crazy but <laughs> the most legendary moment in this battle is when you start doing elbow flares ruin goes next to you and you both do elbow bro <laughs> this I, i don't have words to explain how, what this what this was for us because it was he, the the friend who showed me was like look at ruin now look at where what he does I, I don't know. what what how can they do it next to each other did you have some memories from this battle oh yeah um one i mean one of the thing is is me and poison we don't get along like we literally did not like each other so we were already beefing you know what i mean mm -hmm. and ruin like i knew of ruin but i don't know ruin i don't know cavemen like that you know mm -hmm. um me and poison are battling in that same cypher where me and you see me and poison battling ruin and caveman Crazy. me and poison are battling right there And then we get the battle over with, and then Caveman and Gruen walk up to us and call us out. And we're like, obviously, you know, we're not going to say no. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, a lot of the battles, not, not, um, not, uh, it's on tape, majority of it, but some of it is not on tape because they didn't start recording. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew we were going to battle, you know? Ah, so okay. we were already been battling when the tape was going, you know what I mean? Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, you know, I mean, at the time, Ruin, I, I would say he's one of the, probably the, top or one of the top power movers in the world mm -hmm. at the time you know what i mean mm -hmm. and then me and poison we're we're just trying to be the best in our area we're not we don't we don't think we're one of the best around we just yes. want to be the best in cal in northern california mm -hmm. and so um yeah we weren't even yeah we were not cool dude that that mm -hmm. situation was stupid because mm -hmm. me and poison didn't even like each other so we're battling mm -hmm. together with somebody when we don't even like each we just got done battling each other and mm -hmm. I, i literally just beat him that time Ah. So I was already tired from beating Poison. Mm -hmm. Then I had the battle ruin, and it's like a stupid situation. What what, what <laughs> do you situation. what what do you think? How long it uh, took each of these battles? How long did you battle Poison, and how how long did you battle with Ruin? And poison caveman? wasn't long. Po poison po Poison was like five rounds. Mm -hmm. um, ruin and Caveman, we battled for at least 20 minutes. Damn, we were battling for a long time. Crazy crazy yeah yeah because yeah, obviously you're talking and you know mm -hmm. you're gesturing you're going back yeah yeah, 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 yeah. and it's also also it's not the length of rounds you know from nowadays when you go down like no, 30, no, no. 40, i mean 50. obviously we're, we're literally strictly doing power we're yes, literally yes. doing just power yeah and we're yeah, crashing yeah. too and yeah. but we're hitting some crazy yeah. stuff in, in between but yeah yeah no I, i didn't like that i didn't like that battle at all because mm -hmm. it was just like 
Well, we're bound. I mean, if it was different, if I was bound with somebody I was cool with, but I'm not, I just, me and this fool's not even, me and him are enemies more, more than me and Ruin or me and Caveman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it made no sense to, for us to battle. And so Ruin called us out, which, you know, Ruin does what he does. And, mm -hmm. you know, we handled the way we handled it, you know. Right. I see. But I it was see. a good battle. I see. It was a good no, battle. it's definitely <laughs> worth worth a watch for everybody, just for the scene with the Elba Flash. Because back then, you never saw something like this. You know, it was un unheard of. Well, and I think that's, I think it's, I think it's room to say, like, a lot of people don't realize, because obviously they don't know, but there was an era in power moves where, like, the your power your technique was your it was your style so like mm -hmm. for example boy boy is the one that created one-handed elbow air foot that's his move right so for us to do that move now like at that time we couldn't do it because that was boy's move hopping elbow air flares was genuinely my move um you know hopping air flares touch your toe was ruin's move mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. hopping air flare uh dead man hand hop was ruin's move Mm -hmm, hopping mm -hmm. elbow air flares to elbow hop was my move mm -hmm. so at the time you had people that had signature moves battling each other so it was really it's actually was i really appreciate the time because um it was so uh you never knew what the person was going to come up with you know mm -hmm. because they were all creative stuff ruin is super creative boy super creative poison super creative um, but we all had our own style. Moy, Little John, Iron mm -hmm. Monkey, you mm -hmm. know, Tough Kid, Benny, mm -hmm. uh, Amigo, Little B. Like there, you know, all these power movers had amazing, unique well, power. I, I need to but stop you. We all you. had our I, own style. I need to stop you. Amigo wasn't was uh, was not the power mover from then. Amigo was the popping dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Oh, I mean, uh, little B, if, little B. Little if he B. if he can do power, I'm I'm sorry, but I think Amigo didn't do any power. But uh, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. I didn't want. Yeah, I just little B, to say little this. B. Yeah. Do Do you think Do you think it's also nowadays harder to come up with new power moves, new uh, unique combos? Um, I think you can do it. I think it's definitely feasible. I think you just got to put the time in to do it instead of, because right now I think what powers are doing, they're doing almost essentially, if you go back and you watch a ruin, because ruin, honestly, man, he was amazing. I mean, he still is amazing. You go back and watch what he's doing. You can, he's doing you crazy can, stuff. You can still watch it today and it's dope. Yeah. And it's dope. But the difference I think now is um, I only use ruin. because I think he, you know, at the time he was probably the best one out of all of us, him and boy, I would exclude mm -hmm. myself from the equation. Mm -hmm. Um, they 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 their their combos are irrelevant today the only thing i think that's different is one i know the style of boy and ruin mm -hmm. but the thing is that different is that the now the generation of powers are just doing more spins that's literally it mm -hmm. so they're air flare and 19 but they're doing like you know 1090s yes, which yes, when yes. boy or ruin ruin would just ruin would just touch his toe and you know or you know that's it you know what i mean mm -hmm. but um, I think that's the only difference. But Ruin, Boy, Moy, Little John, mm -hmm. Nightcrawler, mm -hmm. like these guys. Nightcrawler, he created a five, in my opinion. Yeah, he he did it think, into you know, he, he did it into Munch Mill, right? I mean, from my knowledge, I, again, I'm not from Texas, but I, from what I what I witnessed, Nightcrawler so, was the first person. So beautiful, like so beautiful. Beautiful. So for me, Kirk, then you had Kirk, Kir you had Curious oh, yours. Uh, Kirk. Oh, Kirk god how, how how when i see him move i think like how he how how, how can he do it it looks like he can't do it he but he does, he does everything kurt is it he's like another like just natural gifted person that just yeah he's, he's one of the best breakers i've ever seen too was, little little john and kirk was texas was texas like for a while holding the crown for best power movers because i remember watching I like so. Like, like, remember Texas Hold Down this VHS? Yeah, with uh, Germs, Vicious Germs, Mid have a Coral, Omar, United Omar was coming up. No, Masters of Mayhem, uh, Charles, no, and, uh, Charles, uh, Milky. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think Texas came and they, as a state, killed it. They've been good though. Texas mm -hmm. is really, really good, even in the early two thousands. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Florida did really well. Mm -hmm. They had like you know Speedy, Milky, Kevo, mm -hmm. uh, come out. Um, that's the only ones I really know from Power Movers that I can say that I remember. Kevo, Speedy, and 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Milky, but he was from Texas. But, oh, uh, because you say Kevo. I, I, I did the Instagram post like a couple of years ago. I, I, I wrote, you guys are all lucky that Kevo stopped breaking. <laughs> also, I stopped, yeah, stop, yeah. Stop, stop, stop competing. Kevo, I, I don't know if you remember this trailer from him when he's practicing in his uh, living room. So actually, I used to talk, Kevo used to talk to, we used to talk and we used to exchange like ideas. Ah, nice. And I used to help him with his air flare. Nice. And he helped me with, uh, he helped once he got his air flares in. From my, from my opinion, what I saw was that I think he created air flare to feet. Um, and then air flare to feet, he helped me with that to get okay. that over the phone. And okay. then uh, I got, el- I got elbow to feet. Oh. Um, but I think, but again, I, I, people, some people think, you know, um, Ruin probably might say he did it, but mm-hmm. I, I personally witnessed or talked mm-hmm. to me and Kevo about air mm-hmm. feet and he, he Kevo, helped me with getting it. Kevo, Kevo also had so much style and grace in his power. It just looked so, so, yeah. so beautiful. And so he was so clean. I think this is also yeah. what fascinated me about him. He was so clean. I mean, to this day, I think Kevo is probably the best b-boy out of Florida that I've okay. ever seen. Okay, um, nice. Yeah, just because he's just, most people when they when they're breaking they're you know they you see the best in battles right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but overall i mean think about all the footage you've ever seen of kevo is all that always at practice yeah so he genuinely just liked to do breaking so for me i just from what i witnessed mm-hmm. he's my my personal mm-hmm. opinion my favorite mm-hmm. b-boy to come out of florida mm-hmm. well him and abstract because abstract is but abstract is my favorite of all time i i think i think back in the days For me personally, many people didn't understood his style. Like you, who abstract or yes, I, I think be, uh, he was way he was uh, because back then when uh, when I was younger and dancing, we we searched for different stuff. Like I, I um, how can I say? Um, I was looking more for freezes and for power moves, and that was like yeah. indication for me that it was dope. And abstract had like like his name is. He had abstract style and he abstract, had different moves yeah. and different freezes, not the classic I was searching for. Is is, is that yeah. a good way to explain it? I, I mean, I would just say, yeah, I would I would say abstract was ahead of his time, but abstract mm-hmm. was, from what I've seen, again, I'm not like, abstract is my elder, but from what I've you know studied of him, um, he just seems like a genuinely dope dancer <laughs> like mm-hmm. everything is everything he does is dope like if you look mm-hmm. at any if he does a windmill to a halo to a chair freeze is dope like you know mm-hmm. like anybody else does that it's gonna be basic you know mm-hmm. what i mean but abstract the way he thinks is an abstract approach and that's why mm-hmm. he is who he is um you, but yeah you, abstract is he's crazy you remember lords of the floor 2001 of course dude wait, the, wait, the, was that the first one or the second one the, the first one the first one Okay, the first one, yeah. The second, the second was second when one... Pookie came out of KML's uh, bag. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah And yeah. Uh, in That's the right. first one, he battles, he's with Cloud. He's battling with Cloud. Yeah. And uh, he always, when he finished his round, he always did an uprock. Always. After yeah. every round he finished, yeah. he did an uprock. Yeah, it's crazy because, you know, out of all, like, out of all the breakers I ever met, Cl- uh, Cloud and Abstract always been like the, some of the nicest ones. Like there's, because I was again, I was the young one. Like mm-hmm. meeting Cloud and meeting Abstract, I was like 14, you know. Mm-hmm. So meeting them, um, they were already really dope. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But they're always super nice, man. Like and mm-hmm. I, I remember, I remember that. I remember that, and I remember like how they, how they treated me when I was younger, and I always like appreciated that because mm-hmm. even though they were this Cloud, man, come on, let's be honest, mm-hmm. dude. Like that dude's one, one of the best ever. Like he doesn't I have think, to be nice to me. <laughs> I think also Cloud is a dancer that you have to uh, see live because when you when you see him on video, you will never feel the energy from him and the charisma no. he carries and everything. No, he's he's genuinely one, like you watch him and you just see magic and in, in person. Mm-hmm. You're just like, how does he do it? What's It's, his I, approach? But yeah, I, I say this because I personally never saw him live dancing. But this example uh, I had with Negin. When I first saw Negin online, I of course I thought he's dope, you know, but I thought a little bit, um, mm, I don't know what the fuss is all about, you know. But man, the yeah. second I saw him live dancing, I was like, okay, I get it now. <laughs> okay, yeah. I get yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I think you ha- I think you have eras of like really, really 
I don't think one breaker is the best, right? But you have eras of like, you know, you have the machine era, like where machine is like, he's one of my best friends, man. Like he's mm -hmm. genuinely one of my best friends. We, nice. we grew up together. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he does what he does. Like in a battle, it's never planned. Mm -hmm. Every time he's done something great, I never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But he just is able to do it, you know, like, and you have Nagin. Nagin's the homie too. And he just, they make magic, man. Mm -hmm. Like you could just tell they put their passion out there. Mm -hmm. And they cloud the same way. Abstract mm -hmm. is the same way. These guys are just... Ma machine explain, machine man. currently has a status he he can enter in the in the in his round he does 10 seconds something it's okay it's machine yeah you win <laughs> totally fine totally fine <laughs> well is... <laughs> i think i think it comes down to like like what you said about like cloud or abstract they're kind of like yeah they just kind of it's hard to explain man they just i just feel like sometimes they just they're on a different frequency frequency mm -hmm. than some people and mm -hmm. you know it, that's totally fine i think it's a uh, Machines the same way. Sometimes I have a conversation. Machine, I don't even know what we're talking about, but we've been talking for a while, you know. And, but that's and, that's the and machine is a genius, yeah, you know. What the, I mean? That's the beautiful thing about breaking being an art form, right? Nothing is wrong. Everything yeah. is different, you know. But yeah, bro, and let's, that's the thing. Like seeing. Let Let's talk about guy. you. Let, let's talk about you again, because we we <laughs> I started talking with you about battles from two thousand, and it was already high level, yeah. and we're in the year twenty twenty three. Yeah. yeah? So you battled yeah. all over the world, bro. Crew, one on one, two on two, many different systems yeah. and stuff. How do you keep yourself fit? Because the stuff you do is hard and you still do, I think you do everything. Uh oh, I need to I need to say something. Uh yeah. I need, I have a confession. <laughs> I have a confession. I I stole I I, I buy the go down from you. Yeah. I, oh uh, no! Which I, one I, you buy from I, me? Man? I have, I have a confession. Uh, I, when you, when you, <laughs> when you, uh, the one you put the leg behind you and then you slide, uh -huh. and the, you, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you do a roll up and grab your foot with one hand. Yeah, and and I'm, uh, I'm just uh, rolling on my on my belly. <laughs> Oh, that's funny because I got I got that from Moy, so we both bit it. <laughs> Bro, when we when we started watching these VHSs, we didn't know about biting and stuff. You know, we all learned this later yeah, to be no. original. So when we watched the VHS, yeah. when somebody saw a move he liked, he, he put his hand up. Oh, I will take this. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it was, it's, I think everybody's a biter. We know? was we was young and dumb. Yeah, but now yeah, please, yeah, yeah. Please, uh, tell us how 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 do you do yourself do you keep yourself so fit? Honestly, I just don't stop. I mean, I've had a couple injuries, some serious ones. Last last two years, I've been dealing with some serious injuries. Mm -hmm. Um, these have been the longest ones. Excuse me, it's been my hardest ones too. But honestly, you just gotta you don't stop. Like you can't stop. I mean, think about it. So you saw me in 2000, right? In Korea, it's 2023, and I'm still battling. Mm -hmm. What well, we won. We won free succession 2000 2022 with Rock Forest. Like mm -hmm. we just won undisputed in December. Like you just can't really stop, and you know you're gonna have hiccups here and there. So, mm -hmm. and honestly, I, I think I'm. I just I love dancing. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I uh, without the break, without the competitions, I would still be breaking. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, you just can't stop, bro. I mean, look, where you're, I'm when you're older than you, right? Like you're 35 and 36. Mm -hmm. um, For uh, before uh, the, the generation before, we would have been quit breaking and had families and stuff. You yes, know? yes, yes. But yes, now yes. it's a new age, right? So it's like mm -hmm. Morris is 39, Rock's right's 40, like Ronnie has to be 40 now. Mm -hmm. I think Moy's 39 or 40. Like these guys are still high level breakers. Mm -hmm. uh, Lilu got to be at least 40, Machine's 40. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'm not the only one, you know? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Twix so you, is 40, 41. Did you did you ever had a, a normal job like non dancing job, or you always dance? I, I do I do physical therapy. Physical um, therapy. I still nice. do that. Ah, yeah, I still nice. do that. I do that nice. now. Um, ah, nice. Kind of want to quit. <laughs> I don't really want to do it. <laughs> <you know? laughs> uh, but I uh, break, but but uh, I I know 
uh, when you're young, when you're a teenager, you can just practice. You don't need to warm up, stretch everything, and that, and uh, look for look, you look, watch out for your diet, and also go in yeah. fitness and stuff. When did you realize for yourself, hey, if I want to keep doing this, I need to watch my diet. I need to do fitness. I need I need to do this. I need to do that. Oh, 14, 14. So um, when I got in Rock Force, Paul Scary had me running miles. Um, oh. I was already eating. Yeah, because I was a, I was bigger, right? Like I was a bigger guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. To get in the Rock Force, I had to lose, I think, like 15 pounds. I was a bigger kid. I was a kid, you know, like baby fat. So um, Paul Ski, for that battle, I was running uh, three miles for sure. Like, you know, five nice. times a week, four times a week. And then I was eating healthier, you know what I mean? Um and I kind of consistently still do that. I mean, of course, I might indulge here and there, but mm -hmm. um, try to balance out the healthy and unhealthy lifestyle. Crazy. You know? And man, it's God, mentally, right? Because mentally man, it gets hard, right? Man, God bless uh, Polsky, man. Yeah, no, he, I mean, to be honest, Polsky helped me out a lot. He was my main mentor. Uh, yeah. and he was the president of Rockforth at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm the president. Me and my, mm -hmm. my teammate, uh, mm -hmm. Donovan, are the presidents mm -hmm. now. But um, yeah. So let's get into uh, Rock Force a little bit more. So did Polsky, uh, was he like the, the founder or was he at the, the, the first no. generation? No, no, no. So Rock Force, he was the third generation. Rock Force has been around since 1983. In 1983. Yeah. For, to so, 40 um, years. Yeah. So, um, you know, Wicked and Jazzy J. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So our elder, Elmer, was like, the power move king in the bay area for that time for that era so they were wicked and jazzy were looking up to elmer who was in rock who was rock force and jazzy J, and then were um i think they weren't even renegades yet i'm not sure but mm -hmm. so our history goes a long ways um Polsky was the president of the third generation which is the one that got me in um and now Polsky took a step back and it's now i'm the me and donovan are the presidents now um we kind of you know recruit i, I mean I, i've always recruited uh people since man i can't remember so i got machine in the crew i got ajax in um i think reveal got benji in the crew mm -hmm. but i was always consistently recruiting people you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i got ives bowsy morris mm -hmm. hahu yeah we, we got a whole mm -hmm. new generation now so this is your, your fourth generation now currently yeah, fourth generation. i i, I gotta mm -hmm. say i see ives and bowsy Hands down, they really dope. They were I, I, no, I, <laughs> You have to say it. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, really, shout out to them. They, they, they really, really, really dope, and I think they, they're a good fit for Rockforce crew too. Yeah, no, um, I, I, for us is um, obviously our, our crew has been around for a long time, and some people might say it's a legendary crew, mm -hmm. but and we so we have to have a big level, but. Um, no, nah, I don't. I don't really care about the level as much as I care about the people. Mm -hmm. And uh, like Ives is like a perfect example of a Rock Force member, which is he's quiet, he works hard, and nice. he just does work. And to be honest, yo, every time you see him, you're gonna see some blowups. You know, win, lose, or draw. Mm -hmm. uh, Bowsy the same way. Mm -hmm. I think you haven't seen Tahu yet. Tahu is one of the newer guys. Mm -hmm. Watching you see Tahu, man, he I'd, is cra he is crazy, I'd, bro. I I would yeah, definitely. He's, a, he's the next one. Nice, nice. I remember also yeah. in the beginning of 2000, you released the VHS, but I don't know if you were on the VHS then. I, I don't I know. I wasn't, no. Uh, and no. I remember uh, Gerald, very specific, yeah. because he had the crazy yeah. round where he did the one-hand hops and the whole, the whole building, <laughs> yeah, they went crazy. The whole building <laughs> went nuts. Uh, was it, is it correct to say that he was he was the best of you guys back then? Um, I would say so. I think everybody would say so. Um, mm -hmm. And that's the thing about like even what we're doing now with the crew is like, yeah, I think that's why I try to make sure, not I try to, but I think as a crew, we want to make sure everybody stays like level-headed because, you know, this is only a gift from God, you know what I mean? Like what mm -hmm. we do. So it could be taken away anytime. Gerald, that yes. video you saw of him going crazy, he was only 17 at the time. And so um, and he got shot when he was 17. Mm -hmm. So he won, they won ballot year 98 in November of 98. And I think December is when he got shot. So for us, it's just, we always try to remember, you know, our ancestors. And that's kind of like, I think that's one the, another reason why I still dance is because, I mean, in a way I still dance for him. And because mm -hmm. uh, without him, I wouldn't be here. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
if he would never if he would have never got shot, I might have never met him because I met him in the hospital. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. everything kind of leads up to him and what he's done for us, you know. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, it's very important to have level headed people in the crew and that genuinely just love dancing. And mm-hmm. I think that's why we can continue it though because mm-hmm. of him. Um, I think the most rock most rock rock first battle of mine is you against um, vagabonds in total session with Benji. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> man. Uh, 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 Jeff Rounds was always crazy. Reveal when he made funny of uh, made fun of Salah. Uh, Aaron Monkey when he oh, did his God. signature with holding his foot. Yeah, yeah. And then the yeah. the uh, then the, the the aerial. And for me, I think like you was maybe one of the best I- I- in this battle because all the combos you throw. Was ve- was so hard back then, and it was so clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Well, it was honestly one like total sessions are different. You know the funny thing, your guys' jam that I seen the footage of it, the DPC jam. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of total session. I don't know why. Okay. What I've seen, it really reminds me of total session. It's really oh, nice. um, it's really cool to see. I really like. I really like your guys' jam. Nice, nice. Thank um, you so much. But um, yeah, I don't know what honestly, I don't. I was training a lot. I mm-hmm. was training every day. And, mm-hmm. you know, when you have account, when somebody's giving you a, uh, you have to take accountability. Like Paulski was making sure I was training, you know, and Gerald mm-hmm. was making sure I was training. So mm-hmm. I couldn't really slack. And even when I did slack, they made sure to kick me on my butt a little bit nice. to get me going a little bit more. Nice. And after that, kind of, that's when I kind of did mm-hmm. my own thing. I couldn't even have a girlfriend at the time. So <laughs> <laughs> breaking was I everything. I couldn't have a girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, it was everything. They had a rule. I had couldn't have a rule. Uh, what what would you say when when is when was your prime of your skills? Prime. Um the what crazy time? part is I think I mean I think when I battled Morris at the, the BC one Chicago, the national one, that was a good one. Um yeah. I think it I mean I don't want to say prime is just life, like you break you wake up and break all day. So of course you better be good, you know, and at our level. Mm-hmm. Um especially knowing the nationals, the nationals is better, almost better than the world finals. You know what I mean? Like that nationals specifically, that one was crazy. That's, like, uh, me versus they, Morris first round. It doesn't make any sense. And the uh, El Nino won this. El Nino won. It El should Nino have been won. me El Nino in the final. And Vicious, Vicious Victor, he, he, yeah. he, he came up, I think in this, uh, because he had the crazy battle yep, with that gravity battle. too. Yeah. Yeah, this, every this, every first round was crazy. This specific nationals, like you say, this was uh, man the 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 round with Morris when he did the the el, on his tip the elbow spin, and your response. Yeah. I don't know if it was the response to it or the second round where you did the power moves in two directions. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, that you was finished, the second round. You finished the head spin with the ninety stop windmill two thousand and more. Oh, it was. So yeah, it's funny because that combo is so easy, right? Like it's not a easy, it's not a hard combo at all. For you, yeah, but for, for you. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's it's it just I think I don't even know why people liked it to be honest. I didn't like I didn't even like the combo, but I knew so like with power moves when you do it for so long, I have a bad habit of freestyling. Like so I'll 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 have a, a combination I'm gonna do, but in between that combination I'm freestyling. Mm-hmm. And so um that combo, that one combo I was freestyling. Uh, ah, oh, yeah, when you because I I knew the thing is that battle specifically, me and Morris trained together for BC1. We, uh... we were crewmates, people didn't know. I don't think people knew, but we were crewmates. Yes, um, yes, yes. so for us to be in the first round, one, I obviously we both win one on one worldwide, you know, world mm. championships. So that for could us have to been the final two, round, that could have and that's been why the final I. Two? That's why me and him both were mad because we knew what was happening. We knew that it was it was set up for us to battle. And like that doesn't make any sense for us to battle in the first round. Okay, Not okay. like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we knew it was set up. We mm-hmm. we knew the person who was involved at that time set up the bracket, so one of us would lose. Mm-hmm. And so it just you know you knock ah, it out, and make it easy for everybody you, else. You know, you weren't there when they revealed who was battling who, like the, when they drew it. No, they already they already set it up. Ah, oh, okay. Because in the last years, when I witnessed it with the BC one in in Switzerland, they had like a meeting room, and then they showed like, the, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. they just reveal who's who's when who's about them who's about the battle um, right away. But me and Morris, we train we literally train every day together for that battle. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So it was kind of unfortunate that we had a battle the first round yeah, because yeah. Morris is hella good, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's my, one of my best friends. So the battle hand is weird. Definitely, definitely it was a, it made a moment. <laughs> a crazy moment, yeah. It uh, made a moment. <laughs> was there was there any combo you always practiced but you never got? Um, luckily, except for like one handed air flares, I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't really get, I got like one handed, oh, I got one handed elbow air flares, but one handed air flares, I didn't get, I got to one and that was pretty much it. And then I mm -hmm. tore my rotator cuff, ah, so I didn't get got more than that. So, yeah, but I mean, I think, uh, combo wise, yeah, I kind of did everything I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, yeah. the, the stop and go head spin, was this also a creation of yeah. yours or did it? Did, no, did, no, no. That was Storm and all of their, their generation. I don't, I don't uh, really know. Who, I thought I created it, but <laughs> I seen Storm do it in like 1992. And I was like, oh, never so, mind. <laughs> Bro, so many times, so many times I see moves, you know, like you watch videos. And then you watch an old movie, of, uh, uh, video of Storm. They met he already did yeah. it back then. Well, Storm is like this professor. That we call you, the professor you, break. you know the story about him creating Munchmill? Yeah, he put he tore his he tore his groin. Yeah, this it is, makes no sense. This is well, you know the the crazy part is is that um, the guy from L.A. You got to look him up, but he's actually the one to put okay. for us in the West Coast yes, that yes, created yes. baby windmills. Okay, he was okay. doing this in the eighties. Okay, um, okay. I, I'm going to butcher the name. I, I think he was in uh, Air Force crew. Um, but you got to ask Little Caesar, mm -hmm. but it's like documented. He actually did it. Ah, okay, I see. In the eighties, I think in the eighties, yeah. Yeah. Um, but he unfortunately died. He passed away. But he was in all the movies and all that stuff in the eighties. And um, mm -hmm. but yeah. So from what we know about the West Coast, what I've learned was obviously Storm. We mm -hmm. thought Storm did it first, which he probably did it in Europe first. Mm -hmm. But for the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the guy's name is uh, coming mm -hmm. not coming to my head right I'm, now, but he's the one that did it. I mean, it's tricky, you know. You cannot really say because sometimes people have like similar ideas and they live uh, yeah, across yeah. the world. I mean, for example, maybe the whole, Storm had genuinely created it. The the whole air flare discussion we had a couple of years ago, you know, like I mean, but I think most of the people agree. Pablo did it. Pablo created. The I think. Every, I think the majority, uh, there was a. There's, a, I mean, for us in the West Coast, Pablo created it. But I mean, there's people in Texas that say somebody else created it in Texas, which okay. I don't, I don't discredit them. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the biggest issue, I think, it was the multiple air flare issue. Yes, yes. With with with, with Benny and Pablo, right? Which ah, okay. But I think that's what it was. But I'm not even sure because I was too young to even have mm -hmm. an opinion at the time. Mm -hmm. But if I go back and watch the mm -hmm. footage, what I see is Pablo hit it, hitting it. Mm -hmm. They almost did it. Almost. Exactly at the same time, but Pablo mm -hmm. hit it faster. Mm -hmm. It looks like, but I mean, mm -hmm. again, Benny's one of the best ever, so I can't even, I can't really say. You know? Benny, all, all time most beautiful windmill air flare, 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 windmill ninety. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he yeah, always finish it. Windmill ninety, he windmill always 90. finish windmill yeah. ninety. Yes, yeah. Uh, I, I, I mean, yeah, that kind of conversation is kind of beyond me, so it's kind of mm -hmm. hard for me to even have an opinion about, but. Being from the West Coast, we that's we think Pablo. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, not discredit to Benny because he could have done it too. But I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, it's hard to say if you can't make a story on Instagram in that time. Man, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, hey, guys, I created the Afla. Uh, watch it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's crazy because like now it's um, I don't know. That's why I don't really argue about the creating stuff just mm -hmm. because I didn't get it. I didn't get into breaking for creating. I didn't get into mm -hmm. it for the. The, the what do you call it, the recognition i just got into it because i love breaking so bro, whatever comes at, from after it bro yeah. at the end of the day we all started because of the girls you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> you know the crazy part i didn't start because of the girls that's crazy everybody else did like i genuinely <laughs> like breaking like i don't even but I, everybody started because of the girls <laughs> definitely definitely okay bro we're coming to our category called faith five where we talk about uh -huh. your favorite five things And we're gonna start with your B boys, five of your favorite all time B boys. Doesn't matter how dope they were; it can be true, it can be six, it can be one. But tell us five, please. That's easy. Uh, Gerald, Iron Monkey, Reveal, Abstract, 
uh, Kareem Barouche, uh, Moy, Little John. Those are the, those are the heads that come to my those are the names that come to my head mm -hmm. right away. Mm -hmm. Nice, Charles. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Shout outs to all the people you also didn't mention. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> let's talk about B girls. Five favorite B girls. Uh, Beta. Um, that's a tough one. Uh, Ayumi, Narumi. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one of my favorite. One of my favorite B girls. You remember the girl from uh, Wanted Crew? Oh, Baby Sun. Baby Sun. She was dope. She was dope. Yeah, yeah. She Baby Sun was... was dope. Um, oh, you know who else? Karima and um, oh yes, uh, Hurricane. Hurricane was yes. Dope. Shout out to them, OGs. Definite good. European yeah, OGs, Karima legends. Hurricane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also want to mention uh, uh, Dora. You know Dora? Uh, uh, who's Dora? She's from Hungary. The bigger with the crazy. She's also uh, legendary, bro. In uh, our my first jam in uh, two thousand one, bro. She did uh -huh. like this spins. Like crazy, crazy. She's I've never seen her. She's legendary B girl in Europe, bro. Dora and legendary really? Dora. power mover. Look bro. Power mover, bro. Crazy. Really? What she, cr bro, she wow. had the sickest. She did on both elbows. She did here and then she switched. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I will send you a link to her. I will send you a please, link. Please, please. You can check yeah, it out. See. Okay, yeah. five favorite DJs. Damn. Uh, DJ Flo. Uh, who's the guy from Switzerland? Obi Wan. He was in Taiwan. Obi Wan. That's my guy. Nice. Uh, DJ DJ Chef. Um. Uh, another guy from Switzerland. There's one more, a black guy. Uh, forgot his name though. Uh, cousin. Uh, Quizera. John Quizera. Fire. Fire. I mess with him heavy. Uh, DJ Chef, Flo, Obi Wan, Kazera, and DJ One Up. Nice, nice, nice list. This is a nice list. Um, okay, <laughs> uh, five battles you can always watch. Um, Rock Rocker versus the Family, mm -hmm. SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Have a Coral. Damn, any have a quarrel, Lords of the Floor, any of those battles. Um any, any almost any early two thousands battle of the year, mm -hmm. any of those. Must watch. Must uh, watch them. Yeah. Oh, amazing. I think they're from, better than the battle years the, now. <laughs> from the of, definitely, bro. From the beginning till the end, you watch everything. Yep. The whole thing. That's yes. how I know about Deep Trip and all yes, those guys. Yes, yes, yeah. definitely, definitely. Um Freestyle session on the boat. Ooh. That one was crazy. Any of those battles? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's about it, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, um, uh, five of uh, your favorite events you attended. Doesn't matter if you competed or not, or just attended. Um, just for rockers in Paris it was dope. Nice. Super dope. Um, I always liked uh any any Japan event. But uh, I like um, what else? Undisputed is really good. I really I just went there in December, bro. Oh, I nice. love this event. Short, mm -hmm. high level, straight to the point, dope, super tight. Um, another event, it's a tough one because there's so you go to so many events, you know. Yeah, of, like, course, oh, of course, of course. Uh, <laughs> I've been to too many. Um, <laughs> Uh, in the circle, I'm gonna be biased and say in the circle. That's that's all right. That's a rock course event. Um, man, sponsored by Vans. Man, shout out! You have your own freaking shoe, man. Rock Force Vans. <laughs> I mean, come on, <laughs> Thank come you, on. Bro. How dope is this? How dope is this? Yeah, super tight. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, um, crazy. I would say that's probably mm -hmm. right now. I would say that's probably it that I can think of. IBE is always great. Resale sessions, you know, always great. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I think those are probably it. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, I can come to Switzerland for one of these jams because yes, I was supposed to come to one of your guys' jams, I think, and then COVID happened, so I couldn't go. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. We will, we will, yeah. we'll, we'll have to talk to the sponsors for the budget because Las Vegas is uh, a little expensive. <laughs> 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 um, and to finish up the Fay Five, 
five of your favorite rounds? Uh, I would say me versus Morris. We battled actually a lot. So any of my rounds versus Morris, because <laughs> actually I think I he only beat me once, and that was in the seven smoke. But he any round up, versus Morris, he brings out the best of you, huh? Oh, I, I, honestly, I love that crazy dude. <laughs> um, my rounds versus Neek at UK Champs in the finals. Um, any round from World Boy Classic with me and Palmer, the one we we won in two thousand twelve. Nice. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, really. Any rounds from Total Session. Total Session is always. Bro, you, crazy, you made man. it look so easy. 2000 El Two thousand. Come on. Yeah. That's just <laughs> crazy. But yeah, that's probably it. Crazy, crazy. So, uh, we're already one hour in. So, to finish up our podcast, um, let's talk about the future. Olympics coming next year. How are you involved in the USA team and will you compete? Um, yeah, Olympics 2024. Uh, yeah, I was, I'm the chair, I guess, of the USA dance, um, which I really don't do anything. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm just a, pl a placard on their little whatever list you're, or something. You're, you're um, a no, I'm not. I'm not. You're a I'm furniture. Just, yeah, I'm a furniture, pretty much. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Um, my opinion really doesn't matter, so I don't really know. Um, no, I'm not going to compete. Uh, I think it's just my time with my injuries and stuff. It's I'm just now recovering, and mm -hmm. I think by summer I should be ready to go, um, mm -hmm. fully healed. But all the all the qualifiers for the the Olympics 2024, it's gonna for the U.S. It's happening this week. Oh, um, nice. And then whoever wins this week, the top two gonna get, get to be on the USA team. And that's who gets to go to the international battles. So I, my my window of chances is uh, closed, uh, which I don't mind really. To be honest with you, yeah, I, I don't know if you've seen the Olympic events, but the qualifier events, but they don't look good. Like they don't. Like yes, I, don't, they I don't heard I heard a lot of mixed feelings. Let's say it like this. Yeah, they don't they don't look good. I get it. It is the Olympics, but um, you know, for me, I'm already sponsored by my favorite sponsor. Mm -hmm. So obviously, mm -hmm. uh, to get another sponsor, it's cool, but. Mm -hmm. I don't really care, and and to win a championship, that that's not why really what I got into it for. Mm -hmm. um, so I, you know, let the people, whoever mm -hmm. the athletes or whatever they want to call themselves, go mm -hmm. and do that. You know, what what where do you see the positive and the negative sides of the Olympics? I think it's great. I mean, I think it's really great. I don't really see a, not a lot of negatives. I think mm -hmm. um, a lot of more eyes on it. A lot mm -hmm. of people are talking about it. So I mm -hmm. think uh, I think it's all positive. The negative stuff is always been there you know people that come in and just want to break for a little bit and they stop you know mm -hmm. nothing changed i think um i think it's all positive you know more endorsements hopefully come more people see it hopefully companies like monster they uh they and you know any other company they they actually start to gravitate to it more for it because it is the olympics mm -hmm. which i mean obviously they're sponsoring breakers already they've been sponsoring breakers for more than five years so yes yes um, yes Oh I man, it's a plus. The, the, the sponsorships you know I mean? go crazy. You saw Shiggy Geeks? Bro, he's sponsored by Mercedes Benz. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. I, I don't really know, you know, it's social media, so you don't know how much sponsorship it really is, right? Because it's social media. Oh, so this in, is, in some ways I, I this is but Japan, place. but the thing is this is this is the thing about Japan. Japan's been sponsoring. They mm -hmm. it's not like Mercedes and yeah, yeah. you know, Tyscape mm -hmm. been getting sponsored. So Mm -hmm. Japan is great. Is what mm -hmm. we got to do in the USA. That's really what I mm -hmm. care about. Yes, Japan's been great forever. Like, mm -hmm. you know, so it's like, uh, what are we doing in USA now? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But again, mm -hmm. I'm ha I'm happy with my sponsorship, so mm -hmm. I don't really care. It doesn't really help me to. I mean, I I don't want to say it doesn't help me, but I'm I don't feel it. It changes my my situation if I do the Olympics or not. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and so the judges is kind of weird, man. That's kind of like. <laughs> Bro, the judges, it, just, it looks like the worst breakers. Like, I can go down the list and I'm like, these are the worst breakers <laughs> I've ever. Like, I don't like, this sounds really bad, but e each of those breakers that I've seen on that list, they haven't even been, they haven't even made it past prelims of the competitions I Bro, entered. Bro, I, uh, I did the Facebook status <laughs> when, when all this uh, discussion was. I did the Facebook status and I wrote, back in my days, the judges could smoke everybody competing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah. also what I see with this, what you said, the problem is 
uh, there can only be always one winner, you know, and there is always going to be people yeah. who don't have the skills who will never pass the preliminaries, uh, preliminaries, you know, and now you yeah. can become a judge by getting a license and learning yeah. how to judge other people. And yeah, for sure, there is many dope judges that never got to be good B-boys or B-girls, you know? Of But course, of course. there's always also going to be some not so cool people who was always losing. Now they get the license and now they think... Ah. <laughs> I always yeah exactly ah, ha, 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 ha. yeah this is I'm gonna vote yeah. here you know so well I think that's that's why another reason why I'm really selective because uh being around for so long um I noticed that the people who come out who are fresh who don't have any like history mm -hmm. they usually have an advantage you know um and no biasness because obviously mm -hmm. you've seen me for decades so you mm -hmm. If you like me or don't like me, there's some kind of bias either way. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. When you're neutral and you're just coming out just fresh, you don't really have a bias. Mm -hmm. So it's almost for people that um, – you still there, Mike? Yes, yes. Okay, my bad. Um, it's almost better for people that, um, that you know, are fresh and new that they don't they won't get that bias for blue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They won't get that bias. Um, mm -hmm. So that's another reason why I kind of be selective on the events mm -hmm. I do because I – I felt the biasness and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if I don't respect you as a dancer and I don't respect your opinion, then I don't want you judging me. Yeah. It, it doesn't, it doesn't really make sense in a way then, you know what I mean? But yeah, as long as we're dancing, you know, it's, it's always going to be an art. So you can never be like, you know, hundred percent, uh, you know, for, I, I, I like to say if, if they both dance, both are, perfect in their execution and the technique and the level and everything at the end of the day it's your taste what you like more yeah. and not what you think is better it's what you like more so yeah. there's always going to be discussions but yeah we're gonna lean back and let the young people deal deal with it and uh... yeah I'll, i'll let them <laughs> let them have the headache of yeah. that i mean i've, I've been hearing about dancers kind of Some dancers, you know, they're, you know, they're flipping out because they're getting the judge's decision and they're like, what the hell is this, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but the thing is, is what I've learned, and that was the same way, you know, I used to be really emotional with mm -hmm. my loss and I felt like I didn't lose, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. But you put yourself in that position to get judged by that person. Mm -hmm. So in a way, you once you get in that, put yourself in that position, you kind of got to let go. Yes, and yes, yes. Whatever happens, happens. You can't get mad because mm -hmm. you put yourself in that position. Of course, so of me, course. I, since I know that now, I just don't put myself in that position because, mm -hmm. okay, let's yeah. logically, let's think about this. Olympics happen 2024. What's going to happen the day after or the month after? Break is going to continue. Mm -hmm. Is is it just going to happen? So happen that, okay, 2024 happens and then all these endorsements are going to come and break is going to change. We're going to go to stadiums mm -hmm. the next week. That probably luckily is not going to happen. Yeah, yeah it's, it's because. It's They only really care about the 2024 Olympics and it's going to be over. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to worry about 2028. So like, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. cool. It's one mm -hmm. event. Cool. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. This is, I like what you said now. It's one event and that's it. It's one event. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. I think it's going to, it looks great though, man. It looks great. Ooh, and man, and, I just and, don't and, think it's an end all be and, all. And I'm happy for all these young guns who can travel the world now with breaking because back in the days we 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 couldn't even imagine this, you know. And now well, that's the difference with me is that I, you know I was able to travel the world at a young mm -hmm. age, so I was super mm -hmm. lucky. Mm -hmm. um, so nothing. Really yeah, changed, bro, bro. Yes, but... Karim, you you could travel the world because you had skills, but nowadays the skills is. Is not so important because every country yeah. gets to have their dancers. And then you see well, dancers from countries that skill level is not there. Yeah. And they still get to do it. So I don't want to sound jealous or anything. That's why I said yeah. kudos to them. And I'm no, happy no, no. for them. I, I, think you know? it's, I think it's great. I think it's mm -hmm. great that everybody gets to kind of experience it. Because mm -hmm. um, even if. Yeah, it's, it's it's interesting. I think everybody should experience it and hopefully level up. And I, you see people leveling up really fast. It's great, man. Like, yeah, I think what I've seen from the new generation, they're doing great, man. Like, mm. They're they're leveling up fast. I think just go to Russia. I think I just would say, 
Just go to Russia, watch these little guys and these little girls. I but mean, that's Malish... the thing, even in Russia, I went to Russia. My first time in Russia was like 2006. Mm -hmm. They were already crazy. But nobody like, knows them. They, they can't fly out. They don't have the money to go out. Bro, I went to Free Association in Russia uh, 2006, I think. Dude, they were insane. Like I went back home, like holy snap! Yeah. Like, this but you, is nuts. but they, but they can't travel. You, they, they don't record themselves. You don't see any VHSs of them, so you don't know. And then you go there, and then, yeah. So one more, I could talk for another two hours with Kareem. The last question: You was always B boy Kareem, or you had a B boy name? Oh man, I had one B boy name, and it was terrible. So I never, I didn't accept it. So. You didn't accept it. Hell no, I didn't accept it. Okay, I'll let, I'll let that one go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Uh, Kareem, thank you so much, brother, for taking your time. It was an honor, a pleasure. Like I said, I could talk for another a couple of hours with you about breaking. It's very nice to hear your stories and your insight. Um, uh, do you have any last words or shout outs? Man, yeah, just shout out to all you guys. Like, well, thank you, one, for making this platform. I think everybody should make a platform like this or, you know, everybody's story should be heard, um, good or bad, indifferent, don't agree, agree, whatever. I think everybody's story is valid. So I think, you, thank you for doing this because I think it's pretty cool, man. I hopefully, hopefully I can see more of the episodes you have. And yeah, I appreciate you, bro. Yes. Thank you so much, brother. Of course, I want to say thank you again. It was an honor. I hope we can grow very fast. And, uh, we have more to show and uh, just check the, the the links, yeah, at my channel. And then you see all the podcasts. And of course, for all the viewers, yeah, if you like this, comment, we want to see next. Uh, give us a thumbs up. It goes a long way for the algorithm. Turn on notifications. Then you know when the next podcasts are. But every week you have a podcast, so don't worry. And if you want to show full support, you go now to Patreon. You become a patron, yeah. Support us monthly, become a part of the gang and the movement. Yes. Also, thank you to G-Shock for supporting. Thank you for all the warriors mm -hmm. for your monthly contribution. And that was your favorite Bieber host with your favorite Bieber show. Peace.